Guys, you know when you're building AI agents or automation scripts and your browser crashes? Or when you need to scrape hundreds of sites simultaneously but your local setup can't handle it? Yeah, we've all been there. But recently I discovered this platform called Hyper Browser. It might be one of the best solutions I've tried for AI agents and web automation. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll show you how this platform works. We'll explore its cloud browser platform, test the automation tools, and see how it integrates with AI systems, like OpenAI computer use. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. Alright, my friends, let's talk about the platform itself. Hyper Browser is a browser as a service tool designed for AI agents and automation. It lets you spin up cloud web clients in under a second with advanced stealth mode and AI system integrations. You no longer have to worry about browser setup or scaling issues. Folks, whether you're doing web scraping, QA automation or running AI agents, the platform handles the infrastructure while you focus on your logic. It supports over 1000 concurrent browser sessions with more than 99.9% .9 uptime. That's production-ready reliability right there. It works with industry-standard tools like Playwright, Puppeteer, and Selenium, plus native AI agent APIs. Guys, it's built for developers, data scientists, and anyone doing serious automation. The pricing is flexible and way more affordable than managing your own web client infrastructure. Since AI agents became mainstream, friends, browser as a service has become essential. Users expect fast, reliable automation, and the platform delivers exactly that without the headaches. All right, folks, let's dive into it. I'm going to walk you through the dashboard and show you what makes Hyper Browser special. First, let's look at the homepage. Here we can see the key advantages. Browsers launch in a fraction of a second. There's support for 1000 plus concurrent web clients and uptime stays at 99.9%. .9%. Guys, this is critical for production workloads. In the overview section, we see general statistics and usage information. But the real magic happens in the playground. This is an interactive environment for testing your automation code. Here, folks, we can see a JavaScript example that we can run right away. The code uses the Puppeteer API, which is the industry standard for browser automation. Let's examine what this script does step by step. First, it navigates to different websites. Notice the important parameter – wait until load. Folks, this means we wait for complete page loading before moving to the next step. This is critical for reliable scraping. Line 20 is particularly interesting. The code navigates to a GitHub repository for React. This demonstrates the ability to work with dynamic, single-page applications. Then the code performs data extraction, pulling structured data from the page. Guys, it uses the page evaluate method, which means running JavaScript code directly in the browser context. Inside the evaluate function, the code uses query selector all, with CSS selectors to find links. Then it uses map and destructuring to extract href and inner text properties from each element. This is a standard pattern for web scraping. Select elements, extract data, structure results. Guys, let's run this browser session and see it in action. Now I'm starting the browser session. Hyper Browser spins up a cloud browser. It opens example.com, then Google, and after two seconds it opens Bing. It ends by loading the GitHub React repository. Look at the logs where we can see the extracted data I mentioned in the code. Folks, notice that all links have correct URLs. This shows that the code successfully parsed dynamic content and extracted relevant information. One of the platform's key features is Live View, the ability to watch browser sessions in real time. Folks, this is invaluable for debugging and understanding how the browser interacts with web pages. It's especially useful when working with complex single-page applications or when fine-tuning stealth parameters. We can modify code here or run our own scripts and test agents directly in the playground. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Let's explore the next tool, the Scrape tool. This is a no-code solution for simple data extraction. Here you can enter a URL and configure session options, content filtering, and additional options including proxy settings and custom headers. This is perfect for non-technical users or rapid prototyping without JavaScript knowledge. Folks, let me enter a website URL and run the scraping process. The scraping is in progress. 
and we can see successful extraction with quotes. Everything worked completely and correctly. This shows how easy it is to extract data without writing any code. The next tool, folks, is Crawl, designed for recursive website crawling. It automatically traverses multiple pages on a website. We can see crawling settings for depth control, session options for browser configuration, content filtering for specific data types, and additional options. We can also view code examples. This is a powerful tool for comprehensive site analysis or bulk data collection. Let me take books.toscrape.com as an example and perform a crawl where we can view markdown, metadata, links, etc. Guys, this gives us a complete picture of the website structure and content across multiple pages. The next tool is Extract. Here you can input up to 10 URLs simultaneously and use AI prompts for intelligent data extraction. In Extract options, we see a choice between schema and prompt approaches. The schema approach allows you to define structured data formats. The prompt approach, on the other hand, uses natural language to describe what needs to be extracted. Folks, this shows Hyperbrowser's AI native capabilities. Instead of manual CSS selectors, you can use AI to understand content and extract relevant information. For this demo, I'll take a Wikipedia article about artificial intelligence. Then I'll show AI-powered extraction using natural language prompts to pull out specific information like concepts, dates, and key facts. I'll paste in the natural language prompt about what I want to extract. Now I'm starting the extraction session. Guys, we can see that it's in progress and we're waiting for results. Perfect, the extraction is completed and we received a JSON file with exactly what we requested. Here are the key AI concepts, here are the important dates, and here are the main applications. Folks, this shows the power of AI-driven data extraction compared to traditional scraping methods. We can use detailed instructions for all tools available in Hyperbrowser and run our browsers through API keys using programming tools. Folks, all created sessions can be viewed in the session section. You also have access to all your agents, such as HyperAgent and Cloud Computer Use. On top of that, you can use OpenAI CUA and Browser Use. You can also review data extraction that was performed through either Playground or your API key usage. Friends, this gives you complete visibility into your automation activities. The platform provides comprehensive logging and session replay capabilities. This is crucial for debugging complex automation scenarios and understanding what went wrong when things don't work as expected. Guys, one thing that sets Hyperbrowser apart is its advanced stealth mode and anti-detection options. When you are doing legitimate data collection or testing, you want to respect site rules while ensuring your automation works reliably. The platform offers session parameters that help you configure browser fingerprints, user agents and other detection avoidance features. Folks, this is important for maintaining the integrity of your automation scripts. The session recording and live view features help with debugging complex scenarios. You can watch exactly what happens in your browser sessions and identify where improvements are needed. So my friends, for developers, Hyperbrowser provides clean APIs and SDKs for both Python and Node.js. The documentation is comprehensive and includes plenty of code examples to get you started quickly. The platform supports profile persistence, which means you can maintain logins and session state across multiple runs. Guys, this is essential for automation that requires authenticated access. Browser extensions are also supported, allowing you to add custom functionality to your automated browsing sessions. Folks, Hyperbrowser excels in several key areas. For competitive intelligence, you can monitor competitor websites and track changes automatically. Price monitoring becomes trivial when you can spin up hundreds of browsers to check product prices across multiple sites simultaneously. Data extraction for research purposes is streamlined with the AI-powered extraction tools. Instead of writing complex selectors, you just describe what you want in natural language. QA automation benefits from the reliable browser infrastructure and session recording capabilities. Guys, you can test your applications across different browser configurations without managing the infrastructure. Lead generation workflows can leverage the crawling and extraction tools to gather contact information and business data from multiple sources. All right, folks, let's wrap this up. Hyperbrowser is one of those platforms that solves a real problem elegantly. For anyone building AI agents, doing web automation, 
or needing reliable browser infrastructure, this is honestly a game changer. Guys, the combination of speed, scale, and AI integration makes it stand out from traditional solutions. The no-code tools lower the barrier to entry, while the APIs and SDKs satisfy advanced developers. Try the free tier and run the quick start guide. The platform includes free credits and one concurrent browser to get you started without any upfront cost. Have you ever struggled with browser automation infrastructure or AI agent development? Share your experiences in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.